what's up okay so my hair is really okay i'm really kind of liking it like this but anywho i just took my hair out of these braids that i had in and i was gonna wash it but i was like let me film a video you know let me film a curly hair routine because i've been wanting to film one so uh, that's what we're gonna do and i just put all this in my hair like this um do grew anti-itch oil and i put that on like on all my scalp and stuff this is really weird because i can't see myself right now like i don't i have a um tripod on so this is what i'm holding i just got this um when i ordered my ring light it came with this too i think i'm just gonna hold it like this because yeah anyways hey what's up what's poppin it's jc so i'm about to take my hair out and i have my other tripod set up over here this is my bathroom i haven't filmed a video in here in forever but yeah so i'm gonna wash my hair use new products and new first impressions because um i want to so we'll see how it turns out my hair is really dry right now it's getting a lot longer but yeah so stay tuned we're gonna be doing my curly hair routine so <clears throat> i don't know if i like how this is set up and i'm filming a video like this but i'm about to just take these braids down get in the shower and wash my hair and then we're gonna style it do my whole routine and i'll show you like what i used in the shower too but first, let's take all this out. film on this for right now and show you all the products I'm about to use but then I feel like when I film on that after I'm done in the shower I'll have to grab my ring light or something but that's why we keep changing from this to that but I'm kind of liking my hair right now like I don't even want to wash it but it's not dirty it just has like a little bit of that product that I use to braid my hair in it and I don't like how that feels but I washed it a few days ago so it's really not that bad it's a cute braid out but i'm gonna wash it diffuse it because i like diffusing my hair if you guys haven't tried diffusing your hair i would highly suggest it because that's my favorite so the products i am going to be using i'm going to be using this murray's beeswax curl enhancer it's not my favorite i've tried this one before but it's not my favorite but it's all i have right now because we're on quarantine so i'm not about to be going to find hair products these are all messy and then this one is a style and curl milk this one is really good i like this one a lot better than the other one but they're good to use together the only thing i don't like is that this is so thick that i can't squeeze it out of this um lid so i have to take the lid off and like literally stick my comb in there and try to pull it out and that don't even work so i'm gonna use that and then i use heat protectant it's just the chi heat protectant and then this is what I was telling you on my other video, my dollar store video, this, um, the hair grease. This is an Indian hemp one and it's a hair and scalp conditioning treatment. I use this on my scalp and then I'll put it like on my hair when it's wet too. So that's what I'm using after I get out the shower. When I get in the shower, I'm going to use this hair mask the um marshmallow rice milk love and curls hair mask from the dollar store i'm gonna use this one and see how that works i feel like i'm not gonna get a lot of use out of it because it's very small but we'll see and then for my shampoo i'm going to use this redken frizz smith this is the only expensive thing that i will buy to put in my hair like this the frizz smith and the conditioner and the shampoo are the only like expensive shampoo and conditioner i would get i can see a difference in my hair when i use it but it really just makes it not frizzy so if your hair is damaged i would use this because i was really about to cut my hair off and i used this in the conditioner and then my hair was fine 
So I was like, oh. But usually I use Aussie, so we'll see. And then for conditioner, I'm going to use this one from the dollar store too. It's the Bolero brand Sweet Almond and Manuka Honey Mighty Moisture Conditioner. So I'm going to use this one, let y'all know how it works. I'm hoping it's good because if it's a dollar and it works great, I'm going to go buy a whole bunch more. This one's not specific for curly hair, but it says it's hydrating, so so we'll see. I'm going to hop in the shower, and then I'll see y'all when I get back out. Okay, so I just got out of the shower. Just put on a t-shirt that I don't care if it gets wet, covered in hair products, because it will, because I use a lot of hair product. This is my hair right now out of the shower. I don't know if y'all can tell. Like, it looks a lot more moisturized than it usually does. Um, the conditioner that I used from the dollar store and the hair mask was really good. I would really recommend it. I was like, dang, for a dollar, it was really good. So my hair feels moisturized, it smells like marshmallows. And I guess we're gonna start doing my hair. So what I'll do is split it in a middle part and then do one side at a time. I used to work in like each individual section, but I don't like doing that anymore because I feel like I don't get as much volume as I want. If my hair is really like not curling, like for some reason the wash wasn't good, I'll do it like each individual, like layer by layer. But for the most part, I'll do it in half or split these two. So I'll do like four sections pretty much. So I'm gonna start with this side. But I just want to make sure my hair is super saturated. What I like to do is when I'm in the shower, like right after I get out the shower, and bear, like when I rinse all the conditioner and stuff out, that's when I like to put in my hair product. So this is a little bit different, but I couldn't record it. So the first thing I'm going to use, which I did decide to put different stuff in because my hair is dry, I do use like the stuff I put in my hair for when it's braided, the braid spray that I get from Walmart or the beauty supply store. This one is like $3 and it helps your hair not itch and stuff and it's very conditioning so I'll put it, I'll just spray it on my hands and then run it through my hair because I don't know, it's really moisturizing and it helps um, make my curls pop out better. But, and it smells good so. I'll put that in because I think it has like oils and stuff in it, so I don't know. It makes it it makes it look nice. Then next I'm gonna take this Murray's this Murray's um beeswax curl enhancer and this style milk, curl milk, I don't know, whatever it is. I can never get it out, so I'm probably gonna have to take a makeup brush to get it out. Cause it's so thick it doesn't squeeze out so i was just end up doing that because of stuff but already in my hair the curls are clumping from that stuff and i like clumpy curls so i'll put all this in it i use a lot of this stuff and if this parting gets messed up it's whatever all the hair falls down anyway so i put in that one first then i'll take the the curl enhancer and i use a lot like i use a lot of product so And I do just be ripping through my hair. You probably shouldn't just be doing that, but I don't know. This one, I don't like the smell of this one. It smells like it would be like what beeswax smells like. The other one smells good. But after I put this in, I swear my hair goes straight. I was going to put that grease in it, but I don't think I'm going to do that today because I added the braid spray. Then I'll take my wet line extreme gel and just put that on top and it'll turn white like my hair turns white but it doesn't this doesn't usually flake so no yeah. i just take each of those products in make sure my hair is really wet and my hair looks straight after but it's not gonna stick like that so <laughs>
um, and kind of finger detangle as I'm going. My hair wasn't super knotty or anything. It was pretty much detangled, but I'm not really feeling that um, curl cream, so I don't think I'm going to add any more like to the top layer or anything. I think I'm just going to add, just keep using this one, the curl milk. I don't like that other one, the curl enhancer. I don't like that one very much, but I'm going to add more of this to the back of my hair. I do like to apply a lot to the roots and around my like where my edges are so that they can be more defined and have that hold in it that I like for longer so I don't have to wash my hair as often and then sometimes you'll like go through and then there will be parts that are dry so just go up in there add some more gel add some more water which I feel like I have enough product on so I would just add more water and then I like to scrunch it so we're going to scrunch it because my hair is damaged so we want all of the pieces that are not really curling to curl up. I have an undercut so all the bottom of my hair is gone so I don't put anything down there. I'll just condition it and shampoo. But I like to make sure all these pieces in the front are super defined so I'll go through and finger coil them. Not like a whole coil but kind of just twirl them around my finger so okay so that's one side of my hair done and you can see all the product in it there's a lot of white stuff in it but after I diffuse it and blow dry it it doesn't look like that so I'm gonna just do this other side and which is already dry but you can tell the difference like this side has no definition and this side does but I'm gonna just speed that up, go through, do the same thing. But I probably won't separate it in two sections because sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but I didn't like how that worked today. So I'm gonna just do it in one big section because that works for me too. So just make sure it's saturated and then, yeah, I'm just gonna go through and put all the stuff back in it and then we'll diffuse my hair. <laughs> This one's all beat up because I dropped it. But you can get it from Walmart. It's like $3. It's my favorite gel. So this is kind of how my hair is looking. I don't know if y'all can see it, but this is how it's looking. Super moisturized. I look crazy right now because I don't like how I look with wet hair, but I'm looking kind of crazy. So I'm going to put all this stuff away and then I'll see you when we're going to diffuse it. Okay, so for my edges, because my hair is looking crazy, I did put a lot of gel around them. They're not really laid in any way. I like to do them when it's 
wet nothing crazy just swoop them back you're typically not even gonna see it but I'll just at least have it like that so if I do decide to pull it up later in the week it'll maybe be somewhat late then I'm gonna spray my heat protective spray and it's just a little mini one so we gotta go to my the blow dryer that I'm using is this um babeless nano titanium pro this is like my favorite blow dryer and then it has this big diffuser attachment looks like this with the on and then on the settings i will do high and then i will leave it on medium <laughs> today so it's gonna take a while to dry but you can already tell the difference this side's super flat so I'm gonna just diffuse this side to make it match this and then I'll probably let it air dry for a little bit and then finish diffusing because it's too wet so then I'll come back and show you what that looks like I see it in the other one so this is my hair oh let me turn my light on this is my hair it has volume but like it'll get way bigger let me move out of the way from that light or from the window but that's my hair um i look crazy because i just got out the shower i haven't really done my makeup yet um but i'm really loving it those products i used i would definitely recommend um the stuff from the dollar store definitely recommend the conditioner and the shampoo or the conditioner and the hair mask i think really helped because I've never used those before and my hair hasn't looked this good in a while. It's super defined, like all in my, like around my face is super defined and super curly. So I'm really loving that. I'm really short, dude. Like I feel really little, but I'm gonna record like a video, like the other way with my camera flipped. I'll show y'all the front and see if you guys can see any definition or anything. Okay, so, I wonder, um, I had to come down so we can see in front of my light, but this is how it's looking in the front, it's super, um, like around here it's usually more defined anyways, but it's super curly and I really like it, so I'm really living for this little tripod, but anywho, I really like my hair, pretty proud of it. Um, came a long way because it was really damaged and I've just been cutting it, so, yeah. So there's that. Oh, y'all can really see her. Should have been in the front of the window the whole time, but yeah, that's my hair. Yeah, I think that's all I need to say. My background, y'all can see me some mess. <laughs> 
but um thank you guys for watching i really enjoyed filming this video so um let me know how y'all felt about it like comment subscribe share turn your post notifications on all that and thank y'all